Hi there, it's Lorna here from Awesome Tech Training. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make, uh, how to add a filter to your reports in Google Analytics 4. So a filter would enable you to look at just a subset of your data in a particular report. Various reasons why you might want to be able to do that. In the example that I'm looking at here, you can see on this site, we've got a big peak of email traffic coming in on one particular day. So assume that a campaign went out on that day, very successful, that's great. But what it means is it makes it very difficult for us to see the true pattern in all the other kinds of traffic that we're getting because this email peak is sort of pushing everything else down. So to understand what the rest of the traffic really looks like and get a, a clearer view of it, I'm going to put a filter on that takes out this email traffic just temporarily. So these filters uh, that you add actually in the report itself, they don't affect the data permanently. They don't delete anything or change anything. It's just as you're looking at it, you're seeing a filtered view. So to add this filter, we're going to click here on Add Filter. And then we're going to search for the dimension. So you can see there's a list of all the different dimensions that you could filter on there. But we're just going to search for Channel. And you can see the first one in the list is the source of traffic, first user default channel group. So that is where did the user come from? Where were they uh, looking before they arrived on our site? How did they come to be on this site? Which is the dimension that's being reported on over here on the left hand side. So if I click on that, uh, that dimension, then I'm going to select what's the rule for the filter that I'm going to add. So I could say, uh, show me all the traffic that exactly matches and then list the various forms of traffic that I'm interested in. But a more efficient way of doing that is to say, show me all the traffic that does not exactly match. And then it offers me the options. And I'm going to say, show me all the traffic that does not exactly match email. And you can see then you get the apply button in the bottom right hand corner. And that then shows me the data with that email traffic taken out. Again, just temporarily, just while I'm looking at it. It's not changing anything behind the scenes. But you can see that we don't have email listed in this table anymore. And we can see here in this chart a much better picture of what the real trends are in other forms of traffic that came to the site during the same period. Once I'm happy with that, uh, I want to return it to how it was before. Just click this little cross where the filter is here and the filter will be removed. And we go back to how we were before. So you can filter on all kinds of things. You could say, just show me traffic that's come from the United Kingdom. Just show me traffic that's come from mobile devices. Um, all kinds of ways that you can use a filter, but this uh, one that I use quite often for various reasons is to filter out traffic from particular sources. So I hope that you have found that useful and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.